Hello, my beautiful people. I am back with another video at Big Mom's Kitchen. Today, I had a taste for pink salmon. So that is what I'm going to be showing you on my menu today. But before I can, before I can continue, I need for you guys to subscribe. Go ahead and hit those notification bells. The top bell, that is. You can also like this uh, video and share, share, share. So let's get started. I have my heat on a medium high. I'm going to be showing you in a minute what I'm going to be putting in my pink salad. So how you guys doing? What y'all eating on today? And how's the weather? Where you at? Today is a beautiful day in New York. A beautiful day. Yeah, I live in New York, Long Island. And it's beautiful. It's not hot. It's not sticky. It's not cold. Have you guys been watching my TikToks? I see that you're still not leaving comments. But that's okay. Eventually, I will get those comments because I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. This is my passion. I love to cook. And this is, I, since I love to cook, I might as well put it on the camera. I might as well record it. Right or wrong. So, yeah, so I have my pan heating up with some olive oil. And I'm going to be, and also with the pink salmon, guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is my pink salmon. To hold it, you have to put an A. Now, it depends on how much you make. If you make two cans, you put two A's. Now, this is going to get messy. I'm going to take it. I don't have any gloves. And go ahead and mush it up like that. With my hand, just like that. See how that go? That's how that go. Okay? Wash it up. It looks just like tuna. It looks just like tuna. Make sure it's well mixed. Make sure you took all the bones out as well. You don't be. You don't want to bite on the bone. That you don't want to do. And this looks good already. And yes, my hands are clean, just like my kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to give my hands a quick wash. I'm going to give me some of that stuff you wash your hands with. I see it all the time when I go shopping. Just too lazy to pick it up. I walk right past it all the time. Okay, so I wash my hands. The next step. Okay, guys. We are going to start. Okay. I have flour here. Okay. So I'm going to start putting the patty together. You can make them any size you want. Small, medium, large. I like mine's medium. Like a meatball size, just like that. And then put a little more. Because I'm only feeding me and Leroy. So go like this. Pat it. Like that. Like a pancake. I'm sorry. Not like a pancake. But you can make it like a pancake. That's how that go. Then you take the flour. And you go like that. Put the flour on it. Just like that. Pat it. See if your grease, your oil is ready. If the oil is um, bubbling. That's how you know your oil is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put this first one in. You see, it'll break up. It'll break up on you. Gotta know what you're doing with these things. Go ahead and let it cook. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. I only bought one can, guys. So, I don't want can. I'm only probably going to hit two. I'm sorry, three. This is going to be a short video. Yeah, this stuff is messy. You hear that cooking? You got to make sure it don't break up on you. Just like that. You don't have to keep flipping it once it's in the pan. 
I just gonna break up. Don't flip it. But my hands do need a wash. I gotta get this off my hands for the, for the last and final one. Let it sit. Let it sit. Let it sit. Until it's time to turn. Don't keep flipping it. You're going to flip it and it's going to come apart. Okay? That's what's going to happen. I'm going to do my last and final one. Only three came out the can. Three years ago. I'm not a big eater. Go ahead and put the rest of the flour on that one. I came in the house and my man is still asleep. Somebody could be in here robbing us. He talking about he don't sleep hard. I'm doing a video and he's still asleep. Knock. Knocked out. If y'all don't know what that means, knock. That's the last and final patty. These pans are not stick. I love them. Put that flour on top like that so they come out nice and crunchy. Yes. Giving my hand a wash. And also we're going to have it with long grain wild rice. Uh -uh. Okay guys. So here we go. On this side we're going to put a little onion powder. Okay. Let's have that go. We're going to put a little black pepper. That's how that go. We're going to put smoked paprika. I know some people put their seasoning in as they mixing it. But I like to put it on top. It tastes better. Now tell me that don't look good. Bam! That's how that go. And y'all already know, Laurie, be careful with the seasons though. You have to be careful because you can over season. Okay? You definitely can over season. Last but least. Sazon. You see? Everything is seasoned in that pan. That, 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 that salmon, that salmon is cooking perfectly. You can't tell me that it's not. That is a perfectly salmon right there. You wait till I flip it, it's gonna look even better. Cause see, what you're seeing now is the flour. It may not look too good because you see the flour. But trust and believe. Trust and believe. So today, I went to the doctor. I've, I've been seeing a lot, of, a lot of doctors, guys. So today, I did go to the doctor. And, uh, pet smear. Ladies, please see the vagina, the punani doctor once a year. Please, get your breast checked once a year. As you get a certain age, you have to do these things. Because the body changes every day. Get those arteries checked out. Because the food that you eat can clog your arteries. That causes heart attacks. That causes strokes. So please, ladies and gentlemen, get your prostate done. Get your colon done. Ladies as well, get your colon done. I have to go for an endo. I have to go for an endo. Okay, now, I'm not going to tell you why because it's a little personal. But if you want to know and you like my channel, then put it in the just put it in my comments. And I tell you what's wrong with me. I have no problems in telling what's wrong with me. But you know, the people that you grew up with, I feel should be, you know, checking out my channel, which they don't. People don't want to see you make it in life. You know, and I don't get it. They watch this love and hip hop. They do this, they do that. But they can't watch Big Rob's channel, which I make very small channels when I cook. I don't even vlog that much. I don't vlog that much.
And the reason why, y'all, I'm drinking a ginger ale. And the reason why I don't vlog is because of my back. My back be killing me. Yes. I'm a bad back. What can you say? I'll be back with the finishing touch. Okay, guys, so here we are with the salmon cakes and the dirty rice. Very easy recipe. If you want my recipe for the salmon cakes. And you can also put onions in your mix when you mix it up with um, salmon. So there it is. So I would like to thank each and every one that has watched my video today and taken out their time. Don't forget you can find me on FB Robin Drew and Eating with Big Rob. You can also find me on IG Robin Drew. You can go on over there to my TikTok. I'm doing my thing over there as well. Know that I love you and God love you too. Peace. Hello my beautiful people. So Big Rob is back in her kitchen. So what I will I'm having mussels and I'm going to have a you know some shrimp today. Okay, colossal shrimp. They are boiling over here in the cut. All right, but I'm mainly going to show you how I make my sauce. Okay. So yeah, before I can continue, I need for you guys to go ahead and to subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so you don't miss any of my content. Make sure you hit the top bell. You can also like this video and you can share, share, share. So let's get started. I'm going to turn my eye on to a medium high heat. Okay? So we're going to let that warm up. And as you can see back here, I have my... Colossal shrimp and my mussels boiling. I did not put any seasoning but pepper. Okay, that's all you need because when I finish with my sauce, you're not going to need anything else. Okay, the sauce is going to have everything. So the pot is heating up. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is drop in my onions. I have onions here. I'm going to go ahead and let those cook. Like that. Okay, that's how that go. Okay. You guys know how much I love garlic. So you already know that I'm putting some garlic up in there. Garlic has to go in my sauce. Okay, that's how that go. My colossal uh, shrimp are cooking along with the mushrooms. Everything is looking good so far. Okay, so we are, I'm going to turn that down in the back. Okay, so you don't want your shrimp rubber. So I'm going to be taking it off the heat in, in a second or two. So. You see how I'm cooking that? So my shrimp and my mussels are done. As you can see, my shrimp and my mussels, I'm going to place them here, okay? Now, I still have the onions and the garlic cooking, all right? I'm going to lower the heat a little. My next step that I'm going to be putting in my sauce is some red wine. Just like that. Okay? Okay, next step, Lori's.
Next up, red hot pepper. Give it a kick. Damn. That's how that goes. Next up, onion powder. Bam, that's how that goes. Next, a little bit of paprika. Bam, that's how that go. Next, Pete's hot sauce. Next, we're going to take some of the, you know, hot spice of it with some honey. Next, we're going in with the Obey. Last and final ingredient is the Creole seasoning. Next, we're going to take it, rinse out this cup, I mean rinse out this bowl, pour like a half a cup of water. We're going to let it simmer. I will be back with the finishing touch. Guys, this is how I make my sauce. As you can see, nice and bubbling. Then I take my shrimp and my mussels and I take it while it's warm. It's steamy hot. Make sure you turn that eye off though. Go ahead and pour it on top like this. So here we are, guys, with my shrimp and my mussels. And my special sauce is on the bottom. I poured it in there. So that's how that goes. This is a very short video. Also, guys, don't forget, I am also on social media, uh, Facebook, and Eating with Rick Rob, uh, Rob and Drew. And I'm on, also on Instagram, Robin Drew. You can go on over there and check me out on TikTok. I'm doing my thing over there as well. So I'm going to taste one of these shrimps. That's what I want to do. Get some sauce on the bottom. Y'all see this? Look at that. Shrimp. Okay, let's see. Oh, mmm, mmm, so spicy. I'm going to say, you don't have to, it's very spicy. You don't have to, when I tell you, you don't have to season your shrimp because when you do your sauce, so you go by my recipe, that sauce, well, I made it spicy tonight. But, I do want to thank each and every one of you guys that has watched my video tonight. Know that I love you, and God love you too. Peace.